I had this moment in work recently, when I was cleaning off the shelves, taking down the bits and bobs and cleaning behind them, where no one ever sees and the dust likes to hide, killing off organisms with death all, death all, death to all. And I was alone, which made me happy. The place had been packed with men and women until now, each one, one after the other, giving me the unnerving impression that their shit didn't give off the slightest odour. Sure, they're mostly snobs here anyways. I caught sight of a girl playing in the garden, to the back of the building, where smokers sit when the weather permits. She seemed dwarfed by the place, but sure she wasn't really too big anyway. Only about two or three, I guess. Busy building herself some monolithic tower from stones and dirt. She didn't even notice me. Behind me, to the front of the shop, was a completely different scene. Out front was a funeral procession. The hearse was being slowly brought up the street. Just behind it, there were really sad mourners, who cried and sniffled with pats on their shoulders. At the back were those who had known whoever's inside the coffin the least. They giggled and chatted and shuffled along with the crowd. It was so quiet in the cafe, I stopped polishing to live the scene. There, playing behind me, was a brand new human, waiting to run, waiting to laugh, waiting to cry, waiting to break a heart and waiting to live, the weight of the world for her just waiting, to disappoint her, to promise to her, to break her, who knows. She was just beginning, while out there on the street for somebody, it had just ended. This conclusion wormed its way slowly out of sight. I suppose it was going to end up at the cemetery just after the roundabout. Probably for the people on the street, it was just a pain in the arse. Fifteen minutes to cook longer in their cars. And there I was, simultaneously between life and death, drifting. That familiar face always changing. I didn't really give a shit about working afterwards, but I kept on polishing, somehow, automatically.